What's up my friends, welcome to another video. I'm Rob Stewart and I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some gut microbiome basics, specifically gut dysbiosis, which is one of the root issues and root causes for eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, and rosacea. I'm gonna be giving you guys the four main root causes of gut dysbiosis so that you guys can avoid them. They're actually pretty simple. Stay tuned. Problem number one. Doctor, I seem to be having these gut-related health issues. What should I do? Well, most likely just take a bunch of antibiotics. Here you go. So we've all been there. We've gone to the dermatologist. We've gone to the doctor. We've had issues with our gut. And what do they do? They throw drugs at us. Most likely antibiotics or some other form of antacid or anything really, all pharmaceutical drugs, especially antibiotics, can destroy your gut biome. Your gut microbiome is very sensitive and if it doesn't have the right nutrition, if it doesn't have the right amount of foods in it, if it doesn't have the right macronutrients in it, it will be a mess. And if on top of that you throw in a bunch of antibiotics that destroy and strip all of the natural acid and all of the natural abilities of the stomach and the gut and the intestines to do what they need to do, dysbiosis can come in super, super quick. Avoiding pharmaceutical drugs, avoiding antibiotics as much as you humanly possibly can is gonna do you some major help with your gut biome. Problem number two, too much fat, and too much sugar in the diet at the same time for days and days and months and months and months. If you take a look at the standard American diet, your typical Happy Meal, typical fast food drive through type of situation, there's two things that they always have a lot of. A lot of sugar, a lot of processed crap, a lot of carbohydrate, and simple sugars, and a lot of crappy sourced fats. Too much fat, too much sugar in the gut at the same time causes gut dysbiosis and will lead to inflammatory issues with your skin. The easiest way to fix that is just to lessen the amount of overall sugar that you have in your diet. Generally, 100 grams per day or less will keep you in a very safe range and allow you to have some healthy carbohydrates. Make sure that the carbohydrates that you are eating work well for you, are not eczema, dermatitis, psoriasis, rosacea, trigger foods, and especially if you can eat a diet that is low glycemic and keeps your grams of carbs under 100, like I just said, that's gonna make it super, super easy to stay out of that really crappy dysbiosis range. Number three kind of relates to number two, but it's also slightly different. Let me explain. So having a diet that's high in carbs, like your traditional high carb, low fat diet, long enough, for most people starts to absolutely disrupt the gut biome for several reasons. If your diet's high in carbs, well, it's high in sugar. And if your diet's high in sugar, your gut biome doesn't always get the nutrients it needs to be as healthy as it needs to be. Also, when you're taking in high carb foods, that means you're not taking in high fat and high protein foods, which means there's a huge amount of variation between the types of fiber, the types of anti-nutrients, and the possible toxicity from the different carbohydrate-rich plant foods. When you are high in carbohydrate intake for long enough, it will change your enzyme production. It will change your gut microbiome. And for many people, a high-carb, low-fat, sugar-based, carb-based diet has some benefits, especially in the short term for certain people who can handle carbohydrates, but long term, it does put you at a huge risk of getting gut dysbiosis and destroying your gut microbiome. And number four, one of the main issues with gut biome and gut microbiome issues, especially the ones that cause dysbiosis, is simply eating the wrong diet for you as a human being. We all have specific needs, and we all need a customized diet plan to heal our skin. That is something that is across the board. Everyone that I've ever worked with who's healed, everyone that I talk to and interview, myself included, customized diet plan is the main thing that will heal you. And why does a diet plan heal your gut biome? Because the right foods will give you the nutrients that you need, and the wrong foods will cause inflammation, cause digestional issues, 
And anytime you're eating foods that don't work for you and they're having that inflammatory response, it, your gut has to make up for it in some way. One of the myths in the plant-based world is that the best thing for your gut is fiber. Tons of fiber, tons of fiber, tons of fiber, tons of plant food so that your body can... You're not a cow. That's not how your gut biome works. Your gut biome is an acidic place. It needs to digest fats and proteins and assimilate those fats and proteins into your skin cells, into the cells of your organs in order to regenerate them. For some people, a little bit of fiber works really well, but for some people too, fiber is the ultimate nastiness for their gut biome. It causes nothing but major issues. Dr. Paul Saladino comes to mind. During the interview that I did with him, he basically said that any sort of plant foods in his gut biome absolutely destroy his gut microbiome. And no matter really if he was using low glycemic carbs or sweet potatoes or berries, those plant foods for him as an individual would cause serious gut dysbiosis and his eczema would show back up. As soon as he started only eating animal fats and animal proteins from well-sourced animals, the gut biome, the microbiome, the dysbiosis went away really quickly. So here's the good news about the gut biome and the gut microbiome and dysbiosis. Now, many people know that dysbiosis leads to leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome. It also is pretty much responsible for all the different types of skin disease and inflammatory diseases. All health starts in the gut. The good thing is though, is that the gut is very robust. If you give it the right nutrients, if you give it the right environment with your lifestyle, it does heal. It just takes a little bit of time. Generally, to heal your gut and to totally reestablish a healthy gut microbiome, it's gonna take about six to nine months, sometimes up to a year. But during that process, you will get rid of dysbiosis pretty quickly for most people. That only takes about one to three months. Um, so it's, it's a quick path to recovery. It's, it's not a death sentence. If you're having gut dysbiosis, you don't have to get down and think that you're gonna you know, have it forever. You just have to make some adjustments. You have to really pay attention to your food, stay away from the things I mentioned in this video, and you'll be good to go in no time. The key to healing your skin is healing your gut. That's the number one thing. That's gonna do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember to leave all your comments and questions down below. Remember to subscribe and share. I may have already said that. If I did, I'm sorry for that. For those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my skin health clients, there is a link in the description box for a consultation. Also, down in the description box, you can find a link for Skinessa, which is the world's best probiotic for your skin. It's absolutely amazing. I take it every day, my clients take it every day and it works quite well. Anyway guys, thanks so much for tuning in a little gut microbiome basics video. Heal your gut, heal your skin, peace, I'm out.